No mistake from the penalty spot. A controversial friendly suddenly called off after public anger, saying the game had become significantly divisive. Today, Canada soccer backtracked from hosting Iran's men's national team. We are happy that they corrected the bad decision that they made. At the center of the calls for action, families of victims who died on Ukraine Airlines Flight 752. Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps shot down the plane, killing 176 people, most on their way to Canada. Experts say that same branch of the military controls all sports clubs in Iran. It's important for us to cancel any kind of relationship with the Islamic Republic of Iran. They have no place in this country when the, our loved ones are buried in cemeteries. Canada Soccer said it had the best of intentions, that the match was a good one to prepare Team Canada for November's World Cup. Iran is 21st in the world soccer rankings. Canada is 38th. Iran has always struggled to book friendlies ahead of the World Cup. Um, and I think Canada soccer should have known this, and I think Canada soccer should have anticipated the blowback that would occur. The soccer organization says it's working to refund ticket holders for the almost sold out match and promised to review its protocols as Canada searches for a new opponent. Ukraine already raised its hand. It's ranked 24th and says the money would go towards its humanitarian needs for Ukrainians affected by Russia's invasion. We have not yet officially requested uh, Canada Soccer Association, but uh, they are our neighbors. They are not far from the embassy. I'm happy to walk there and ask them if they, if they are ready. The head of Iran's soccer team had said that Canada Soccer was going to pay its football federation $400,000 for this match. Today, Iran's deputy minister of sport announced he'll be seeking damages. $10 million, he says, for Canada Soccer breaking its contract. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Ottawa.